Hi, what's up, you guys? This is your girl, Soul with with Bird, and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn the pattern making for the lapel or AKA notched collar. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys the easiest way of pattern drafting for the lapel or the notched collar. I will also teach you guys on how to properly sew the lapel for the part 2 of this tutorial. Anyway, to learn the pattern making for the lapel, make it sure to continue on watching this tutorial to see the full creative process. These are the tools and the materials that I'll be using for this tutorial. Basic torso slopper, back and front, a pencil, fashion rulers, tracing wheel, pattern papers, measuring tape, and masking tape. First, let's trace our front and back bodice torso or basic bodice. By the way, to those who are new to my channel, I have a separate basic torso and basic bodice tutorials and I will put the links up here. Anyway, make it sure that there's enough space on the top and the right side where we've traced our front basic torso or bodice. We need enough space to draft the lapel and the collar. Once we are done tracing the front and back slopper, we can now proceed to the next step. From the front neck tip, we will mark out or extend 1 inch or 2.54 centimeters. This 1 inch will be our collar stand. Next, from the bust level of our basic torso or basic bodice, mark up 2 inches or 5 centimeters. This mark is where the lapel should overlap. Label this depth. Next, from center front, mark out 1 inch or 2.54 centimeters extension. And draw an extended vertical line. This 1 inch extension is where the buttons and the buttonholes are placed. Next, from the collar stand, the 1 inch, draw a slant line passing through the mark at the bust level or the depth. Ending or touching this line exactly at the 1 inch extension at center front. The slant line here is called the roll line. Or the fold for the lapel. And where the roll line ends is called the break point. The break point is where the fold of the lapel ends. Later, you will understand once we move on to the lapel drafting. Okay, so let's continue to the next step. To draft the lapel, first let's fold our paper along the roll line. Next, using your trusty tracing wheel, we are going to trace the front neckline. After the tracing, let's open our paper again. And by the way, we draw the trace front neckline to see it clearly. From the trace front neckline, following the curve, extend 168 inches or 4.4 centimeters. Make it sure to mark this notch. Next, from the last measurement that we did, extend a 2 inches or 5 centimeters horizontal line. And label this as the lapel tip. From the lapel tip, connect another slant line ending exactly at the break point. There you go. 
Next, mark the halfway between the lapel tip and the break point. And from the halfway mark, mark out 2 eighths of an inch or 0.6 cm. From the 2 eighths halfway mark, using your ruler, draw a slight curve going towards the lapel tip and the break point. And there you go guys, now we have our lapel. Next, fold again our paper and trace the lapel using our trusty tracing wheel. And please do not forget to trace the important notches at the lapel and at the break point. We will be using these notches for the sewing part, okay? Okay, let's now move on to the next step. Going back to the tip of the original front neckline, mark in 2 eighths of an inch or 0.6 cm. And from this new measurement, blend it inwards to the front neckline. Do this as well on the back neck tip and blend this new measurement on the back neckline. Using your measuring tape or flex ruler, get the exact measurement of the back neckline and record it. So going back to the front neckline again, at the last mark we did, extend a line for the back neckline. From this new line, mark and measure out the back neckline measurement that we got earlier plus 1 8 of an inch or 0.3 cm. By the way, use your own measurement for this one. Next, divide this line and mark it. So, at the end of the back neckline measurement, Mark out on the left hand 4 eighths of an inch or 1.27 cm. Next, from the 4 eighths mark, extend a slant line with the measurement of 2 6 eighths inches or 7 cm and mark it. Label this mark BCL, short for back collar length. And we will work on this later. Let's leave it behind like this first. Also, from the 4 eighths mark, Draw a slight curved line connecting to the halfway mark of the back neckline. Next, from the notch at the lapel, yes, this one, we're gonna go back here again. Draw a 1 6 8 inches or 4.4 centimeters line. Ending this line approximately 6 eighths of an inch or 2 centimeters from the lapel. This is the tip of the collar. Next, draw a slight curve from BCL going towards the tip of the collar. Completing our collar. From the center back collar at the edge, mark up 1 inch or 2.54 centimeters. Using your curve ruler, draw a curve line all the way down going towards the roll line of the lapel. This new line at the back is the roll line for the collar. And it should be connected at all times to the roll line at the lapel. By the way, if the fit of the collar is tight, we can divide the back neck of the collar into three lines. Slash and spread these lines by 2 eighths of an inch or 0.6 cm. And redraw and reblend the color. Always check your color on your dress form to see if the fitting is accurate or you're satisfied with it. So now, we are done with the drafting part for the lapel or the notched collar. Anyway you guys, I hope this will help you with your upcoming projects and I hope you like this tutorial as much as I do. And please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel Sew It With Brit. And I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. 
up yan to.